I'm Corey Payne. I'm an artist from Connecticut. I do paintings. I've been doing a lot of murals lately. A lot of album covers and posters for bands. Whatever is like the meaning behind something or like the story behind it, I'll just try to like narrate it with the art. So like maybe if I'm trying to tell a story, I might have like symbols within the painting that you can kind of find like little puzzle pieces and then put the story together. And then sometimes it's more obvious if I'm trying to really get a point across and the message will be clear. This is, I think, a good example of just trying to tell a story through art, like in a visual way. So like this story kind of first got inspired by, I was reading about this dude um, named Michael Stewart and he was from New York. He was like a 16 year old kid and he was just like spray painting in the subways or something. And then these cops came and just like beat him real bad. It was, it was crazy that this kid got beat and like died from just spray painting a train that's not even really bothering anybody. I like to do more like realistic type stuff. I'm not like going for like hyper realism or anything, but people always like respond good to like realism and they just kind of get it, it catches their eyes right away. So it's easy to like tell a story that way to get people captured and then once you start telling the story, that's when you can start adding in the surreal kind of abstract elements and try to put that all together. This painting was a album cover for my friend's band. I tried to like take pieces of the songs and like things, like themes and things that he was talking about and then try to like piece stuff where I think it might work compositionally. So this wolf, like I might've tried it right here at first and do other things and then I'll be like, oh, the wolf looks better on this side. Almost like building like a puzzle that I didn't know how it would look in the end or something. I like the album art a lot because it's, music is like such a big part of my life. I did it live at my friend's show. I just usually paint like while they perform on stage. Started with the face and then just came up with stuff on the spot. I always have music playing when I'm painting and stuff, so it always influences me. I don't really sketch too much. I just kind of like plan it in my head and kind of like picture it. And then um, just try to put it on canvas and use whatever medium feels best. When I was like first one art, I would try to make everything like perfect, like the way I it, pictured it or whatever, or like trying to draw a picture exactly perfect. And uh, I don't know, then I just started to like let go and let it be more loose and free. And I think a lot of that comes from music because it's just, I don't know, jamming and stuff. I love jamming and it, you always make up something new on the spot. And it's kind of like the same thing with art, that you just kind of like let it flow and not really think about it too much. And it usually comes and works together and works out. Art can connect you with so many different things, whether it's sports or music or whatever. I really think like art can bring you, bring anything together, and bring all different types of people together. Getting to come like out of Connecticut and go travel and do something is cool, and then getting to be able to come back and like have this as like my home base is, I just like that setup how it's going right now. Sometimes it'll just be like kind of more dead, and I'll have like nothing going on, so I'll work on my own stuff, and then other times I'll have like a bunch of murals. And, I've done murals, like, I've, I've done a bunch in Hartford, but I just, I love murals because they, they just change the space. Anyone that's going through just gives them a new thing to look at, like, and can change the way they look at an area. This is a new mural I just painted at the Willie Ware Community Center. It's uh, in Hartford. It's the oldest community center in Hartford. Since it's a community center, I want them to come and, like, I don't know, just open their minds and have it free and just see something different and uh, imaginative and colorful and everything. I did a portrait of my friend Hallie. It's cool for me to paint uh, my friends and people I know or people that are important to me into like a lot of my work. I always try to capture their spirit and just bring it out in the on the wall or whatever it is I'm painting. People have just like endless expressions and emotions. It's more about like capturing the, the spirit of the person and like that expression that they're trying to tell in the story of the piece. Sometimes I'll, I'll be taking pictures of somebody for a piece and I could take like 300 pictures but there's just only one that like captures that certain thing. It's like mostly like in people's eyes. Like you just know they have like this certain look in their eyes that tells some kind of story or emotion that you're going for. I knew I was gonna do the portrait and like the sunflowers and stuff but beyond that like I just kind of figured it out and was trying to improvise like every day as I was coming here. Here there was a bunch of robins all surrounding me the whole every day I painted and they would always come up to the wall and try to peck at the sunflowers. So I thought that was a pretty cool sign as a, a painter, you know, getting to paint something that they think is real. So 
that worked out perfect. And then when I was when it came to painting the the girl over here, I knew I wanted somebody reading a book, but I didn't really know exactly what I wanted to do with it yet. And I figured since the bird thing was happening, and I wanted it to be about like this kind of like imaginative world, like almost surreal kind of thing, I figured just having like the bird head was another cool thing to add in there. It was like the community center, so it was more about kids. I wanted to try to like have something cool that they could really get inspired by. I mean, it's always cool to see like when people actually connect with what I'm trying to say, but then it's cool when you when you see things that they see that you maybe never thought of or that I wasn't even going for and they have like their own little meanings and stories that they come up with. I like to just try so many different things that like I'll, hopefully one of those things will branch off into something else eventually. And, you know, like sometimes it always doesn't work out, but like just doing so many different things, it kind of keeps you busy and keeps something always going.